Mary Cotty, who is also our latest parish councillor, and she will be performing the opening ceremony of the Derby Fields. In many ways, this formal opening is the culmination of a project which was started some three and a half years ago, with the inception of the Friends of Priory Fields. But today is really only the beginning. Peter Affey, who's been the chairman since the start, is unable to be here today because he's at his daughter's graduation in um, Manchester. But he was the driving force um, behind our successful application to the Heritage Lottery Fund to purchase the extra 25 acres of land which was added to the seven acres which was kindly donated by Tony Chambers. Whilst the Friends Committee is a small team of dedicated volunteers. We also have had the support of many local businesses, community groups and individuals. This has been and continues to be a community project. We couldn't have done this without the organisations that have helped financially and they will have their names and logos displayed prominently in due course. But I would also like to give particular thanks to all the individuals, the unsung heroes who have worked hard over the past two years to clear brambles and undergrowth, to construct bridges and fences and to cut the grass to create this interesting and tranquil place that I hope that you have here. Yeah, I was around the back. Around the back. Today we have two information boards which we wish to unveil. The first is at the main entrance here, which has been sponsored by Kelly Turkeys, Paul Bailey Cars, Peter Athey and Barclays Bank. And then, in a moment or two, we'll go over to the arch, where we have another, another information board, kindly donated by Geoffrey Warwicker. The artwork for both of these really original and imaginative boards was created for us by Rod Brown, to whom we're extremely grateful. Rod also lives in Bigmaker, and so it's a further example of how this is a community project. I'm delighted now to hand over to Mary as a representative of the local community to complete the formal opening together with her assistants Alexandra and Harry. Uh, Alexandra is from the Priory School and Harry is from St Mary's School. Thank you very much. Well it's an immense privilege to be here to do this today. We were saying earlier that this is the first time that any of us have done anything like this. And it's, uh, well, we're delighted, and I'm delighted to represent you all uh, today. Well, it's lovely to have the assistants too, because they're going to do the work. And as you heard, Peter Athey is unable to be here, but he asked me to thank particularly Sandra Hirons of the Heritage Lottery Fund and John Bishop, Parish Representative, for their advice, encouragement and help during the grant process. Of course, there's lots of people to thank and we just can't thank everybody. And Ian has already mentioned lots of the people to be thanked. Well, it's, it's, it's going to be a benefit for now, for us all, but also for the generations to come. And one of the local residents said how lucky Bitmaker is to have this enormous green heart right in the middle of the village as well as safeguarding the Priory Arch. So it's with great delight that I ask these two, Harry and Alexandra, to draw the curtains and unveil the Priory Fields. Wow. 